Hey everybody, this is Conrad Wilton here inside the Annenberg Radio News Studio, alongside two USC students and eyewitnesses to the first shooting at the campus of the University of Southern California. An unprecedented tragedy went down on Halloween night, and uh, we are very glad that we have AJ Noel and Jeremy Jackson on the radio show to uh, sort of sort things out for us. How are you guys? Pretty good, uh, pretty fun. good. Awesome. So tell me, I mean, this is the uh, the freak or Greek party, right? This right. happened at the center of campus mm -hmm. in the big grand ball room inside the campus center. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically just tell me what went down. Like where were you guys? What did you see? What did you hear? Oh, well, we were actually we were on Truesdale actually on the side entrance to the campus center and you know there was basically it was basically a block party full of people. I mean there was a mm -hmm. lot of people out there. And you know we were standing in line forever and we originally got in line at probably like 11ish basically. Mm -hmm. So we were standing in line for probably a good 20, 25 minutes or so. But, um, you know, they weren't letting anybody in. People started to get rowdy because, you know, you don't want to be standing in line forever on, you know, Halloween night or whatever. Right. So, uh, you know, people started to get rowdy. And, um, you know, eventually the shooting broke out between because it was, a, it was an argument between two individuals. And, you know, one individual ended up getting shot seven times. So, I mean, by the time the shooting went on, you know, everybody, it was just chaos. You know, everybody dropped yeah. to the ground. Everybody, uh, you know, ran through the campus center, ran everywhere else outside the campus center. So it was, it was a state of chaos. What did DPS do? And what was, what, what were they doing about this? Um, they were pretty much trying to do crowd control. Like they were trying to keep everyone calm and get them in line so they, they could let us in, but no one would like cooperate. And like one girl even tried to like fight a DPS officer at one point, and I was like, and "This is before the shooting." Before, before the, shooting. the shooting, because so. like majority of the students weren't USC students at all, and like they came from, like just around like a lot of them weren't even college students that's something to get into a little bit later and that the usc didn't exactly prepare to the fullest extent for this event right. and you think they would considering it's in their dojo mm -hmm. right next to tommy troja pretty much i mean it's in the grand ballroom i mean they invite uh i don't know dorn in that same place. right mm -hmm. it's a big deal mm -hmm. you know it's not necessarily off campus per se but you aj you say that this has been what the third shooting you've been a part of in, in about a month in now? about a month yes it has that's crazy talk what are the other two the other two, one of them was um, off of 37th, and then another one was on Adams, actually. So right around so, SC. Right around SC, but it's like you never expect that there's going to be a shooting on campus. And I guess yeah. that's what kind of differentiated this instance from the other two. So this being your third shooting, I mean, like, when did you sort of feel a, a vibration in the air, like something bad was going to happen? Sort of like animals when there's an earthquake about to happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm a very instinctive kind of individual. Like the other two, it's like as soon as you hear it, it's like me personally, you know, my mom always taught me to just run. Like don't even try to stand there. Don't try to see what's going on. Don't try to like, as terrible as it sounds, don't really try to like fend for anybody else. Just try to get out of there as soon as you can. So it's like as soon as I heard the gunshots, I mean, we were, we were already gone. Yeah. And we had to go. We actually hid in the bathroom, <laughs> hoping, <laughs> hoping that you know we didn't, we weren't caught like in the gunfire or whatever. So yeah. And how about you, Jeremy? Is this the first time you've, uh, no, you've been no. across this before? Yeah, but this time it kind of surprised me because I didn't know what it was because it was SC and I thought it was just DPS trying to get everyone's attention or mm -hmm. something. So I was kind of confused for a minute until I looked around and everyone was like jumping to the ground and just running inside. Mm -hmm. And that's when I kind of got scared. It hits you right in the yeah. heart when you when you hear that panic. Mm -hmm. And it's the audio per se, because a lot of folks have posted some, or not a lot of people, but some people have posted videos of, I mean, you can't really see what happened per se. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really hit you because you see people running around, but it's like, eh, I don't really get right. it. But when you hear that, there's something instinctive that's like, whoa, this is bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can hear the fear in people's voices. And anyway, so I guess, how many, I know the guy got shot seven times. Luckily, mm -hmm. I think he's supposed to live. I haven't right. checked up on him per se. I mean, I think from last night, I think uh, surgery's over or something like that mm -hmm. but he's a, a former Crenshaw football star right. and it looks like he was targeted per se it mm -hmm. wasn't just like a, a random attack mm -hmm. otherwise I think he, that would be really bad if right. you can imagine right. but what what was it per se when you I mean did you hear a lot of the shots or yeah. what 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 happened I mean se? we were standing you know we were standing in line and there was probably like seven or eight gunshots maybe yeah. a little bit maybe a couple seven. more yeah I kind of said yeah and then I know that apparently three other people got shot as well from probably like misfires Right. So, yeah. And they had minor injuries. There right. were four people involved. Luckily, none of them USC students, per se. But obviously, as we have you guys on the show, mm -hmm. it kind of impacted you just a little bit. Right. Don't you think? Right. Right. <laughs> Especially since it was on campus. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And the center of campus as mm -hmm. well. It's crazy. So you hear the gunshots. And I guess the first thing you do is duck, right? Mm -hmm. 
Per se? Yeah, I mean, for us personally, because it's like, you know, we thought it was DPS. So, yeah. I mean, it's like you hear the gunshots, yeah, and you think that you're like in trouble. But then at the same time, you know, DPS has been trying to control the crowd this mm -hmm. whole time, and they really couldn't. So, I, I mean, we figured that it was like DPS trying to like warn us or trying to get yeah. our attention. So, it's like we really didn't know what to do. Okay, so at, right after that, I guess, how many seconds before you start running? Hmm, probably. I mean, the gunshots ran out, and then every, you know everybody dropped to the ground instantaneously. And then after yeah. that, probably within like two or three seconds, everybody was just scrambling. Booked it, huh? Yeah, and yeah. we just we pushed past DPS yeah. officers. You went inside. We yeah. went inside. Okay, and inside, I guess the entrance down the stairs to Traddy's. <coughs> no, we didn't go downstairs. We, we came in through the side where where they were letting people in for mm -hmm. the party. And I oh, guess right I, okay. there, yeah, right there, there's like a men's bathroom. Yeah. So, I mean, that's where we... That was, I know where you guys were. Yeah. <laughs> it's right next to that fancy Moriton fig restaurant. There you mm -hmm. go. But, so you go into the bath. How long were you guys in there? We were in there probably like, what, 10 or 15 10, minutes? 10, 15 minutes, yeah. We went into a stall, locked ourselves in our own stalls. <laughs> oh I, I hopped up on the toilet personally because yeah, I didn't want the shooter to come in. And yeah, like, we didn't want anyone to see our feet. And then, like, girls were in the, the guys' bathroom. Oh it was just God. chaos. Like, as soon as we ran inside, everyone was, like, looking like, where do we go? Where do we go? And I just mm -hmm. ran to the bathroom. He ran to the bathroom, too. And, like, a lot of people followed us. And it just was a lot. I don't know. That's crazy talk. Okay, so anyway, you guys are in the bathroom about 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? Things kind of calm down a little bit. I mean, but see, the thing is, they didn't they they, they had they didn't know who the shooter was no. originally, so the shooter was still basically at large. Yeah. And it's like, you just see all these people, and it's like, you don't know who the shooter is, you don't know where the gun is, so it's like, we right. just, yeah. But now, let's just go back to the party, per se. Back in time, how did you guys hear about it? I heard about it through Facebook mm -hmm. first, and then I received, like, a poster flyer right. on campus. Okay, and on the Facebook, paraphrasing it, factually correct that 18 or older mm -hmm. or university id right it's a college state, id yeah state or university id required mm -hmm. right oh, i think it's a college as yeah, well college, mm -hmm. college. college ID. so that's the thing because usc has a policy where you have to be either a usc student or a student of a university mm -hmm. but there's a very fine line be between a college and a university mm -hmm. but what is what is the difference because a lot of times people use it synonymously and the guy who ended up getting shot, I think, goes to uh, West L.A. Community College right. or something like that. So that counts, does it? Or maybe not? I don't know. That's the question, though. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And clearly, you guys were in line. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a Trojan line. There were people from other Oh, places. there was. it was majority people yeah. from elsewhere that yeah, weren't that's, students. That's the first thing I noticed. I didn't know anybody there when I first got mm -hmm. there. It was just too many people. And, and you, I mean, the thing is, and DPS knew this, though, because, I mean, I got quotes and all that. They say that uh, basically that they knew that there was a, um, the flyers of the party and all that didn't make it all that clear. It was a third-party promoter. Mm -hmm. And SC didn't exactly check. They didn't prepare and that they didn't check the advertising so that they would know that, okay, everyone coming is either going to be a student of USC or a student of UCLA or another university. Right. But mm -hmm. it's still, even their policy with the college slash university can be misleading. Mm -hmm. right. But were you surprised that, there were so many people who didn't go to SC and that DPS were obviously, I mean, if you guys picked it up, this is their job. They had to kind of know that. Yeah. Right. Like initially when we first got there, the first thing we thought was like, this is too many people for the campus center. Like I've never seen so many people at a campus center party. And then once we got closer, we realized that the majority of them weren't even from campus because we know a lot of people who go to these parties usually. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, no one we know is here. And I don't know how DPS could have kind of controlled that because they didn't, I don't think they anticipated that many people right. coming. So I don't think it's, it's on them. Well, at, at the um, well, at, the thing is, is that DPS or university administration is something that's all about preparation. Mm -hmm. Once it starts to happen, then mm -hmm. it gets pretty much uncontrollable. You mm -hmm. really don't know. I mean, when you have when you leave it up to a third party promoter, and I guess it was SC hype. Yeah. But nonetheless, when SC leaves it to a third party promoter to do the advertising and basically, and the thing is, is that SC actually, I don't know if you guys took a look at some of the Neon Tommy articles, but there's there's a policy where. Parties on campus aren't supposed to have loud music on a weekday. And I know that the, this party obviously encouraged pre-gaming and things like that. And USC later on admitted that they made an exception because it was Halloween on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And if you think if you make an exception for this type of stuff, then you should actually go above and beyond and make sure that all your letters are crossed, your, right. your eyes are mm -hmm. dotted, your, you know, all that stuff is, is taken care of. And you think that SC, you know, a school that tends to be very much in the middle of South Central LA would be a little bit more conscious, especially what happened in April. Right. And apparently what's happening around campus on, uh, I don't know, monthly basis, right. you would say. <laughs> right. Something else that's interesting is the party continued 
after the shoot. Oh right. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? I, I was I was upset because, but at the, I kind of came to understand because they couldn't leave. But at the same time, people had just gotten shot, and I was like, how can you still have a party when people just got shot? Because he was like, we should probably just stay here. They're probably gonna start it back up. I'm like, no, this is USC. They shot on campus. Like, no, they're definitely closing this thing down, but they didn't. And you don't know if the shooter's coming back into the party. Exactly. You don't know if there's someone in the party with a right. gun. If exactly. he's got a, an accomplice, or maybe they're, they're targeting another Crenshaw football player. You have no idea. Exactly. Right.